Báchame, báchame, que fuerte stringeme. This stupid place. I can't believe he'd live in such a terrible neighborhood. This must be it. Uh, hi. What a surprise. We were just going down the beach. Would you like to join us? Who's we? Me and Thomas, my house. Hello, baby. What do you mean, Thomas, your house? Thomas, meet my wife, Lava. Hello. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Let's stand back so I can shrink him with my shrink ray device. Ah, oh, that felt good. Shall we go? This looks like a good place. Let's go in the water, baby. It looks so nice and cool. Baby at all. He's a horrible little sea creature. Let's get out of here. I guess he's better off where he is. He'll be much happier with his own kind. What do you know? You're just a house. Houses don't know nothing. One thing I do know is that you're not a very compassionate human being. And I think that both Baby and Nardo are better off without you. Well, I'm not gonna stand here and be criticized like that, especially by a house. I'm leaving. It's just as well. I never liked her anyway. I don't know why I ever married her in the first place. Yeah. I don't know how they did it. Thank goodness for the specialists. The specialists have stumbled once again into the secret hideout of Dr. Dendrite and his gang of supervillains. When the crime clown shows up, Dendrite fires a missile towards the city and... Fellas, if there ever was a time not to botch things up, this is it! Samson has to stop that missile. Not a problem. Ha, 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 ha. 
Kitka. Get in there and access the control circuits. we've been through. I don't think our talents lie in the classified section. Let's get back to headquarters. Our job here is done. What a surprise. Calling all cons. Last time we saw Dog Boy's disastrous run-in with the long arm of the law. As Dog Boy finds himself unjustly accused of a multitude of crimes. And now into the harsh, heathen world of hardened criminals. Hey, I heard that dunce call you Dog Boy. Is that your tag? My tag? What do you mean? Your tag, your name, stupid! My friends call me the Gimp. But you gotta earn the right to call me that. Hey, dear, dear, dear. Do you know what I'm in for? I killed a busload of cheerleaders and dismembered them. <laughs> yeah, hey, I guess they were on their way to cheerleader camp. Well, you did? But why? Just for the hell of it. Never did like cheerleaders much, you know, all that yelling and jumping around, it gets on a guy's nerves. I used to walk in as a wire cutter in a big old factory upstate. One day the sons of bitches up and fire me. So you know what I did? I went back there the next day and blow them all away. It was worth it just to see the looks on their faces. So, what are you in here for? Dog boy. It was really just an accident. Just an accident? What the hell are you trying to tell me? What are you, some kind of wimp? I, I don't want to hurt anyone. Ooh. Well, you know what? Only wimps don't like to hurt people. Yeah, and we're not wimps. No, we like to kick butt. And we're gonna kick yours. Hey, hey, what the hell's that? Give it here. Uh, it's mine. Up uh, and at him, uh, dog boy. You just <laughs> made bail. Oh. If I had anything to do with it, you'd spend the rest of your miserable life in here. <laughs> Bo. Bo. Sign oh. here and here, dog boy, and you're free to go. But who paid for my bail? She's standing right behind you. Hi, Rondi. Gosh, I can't believe it. Thanks for bailing me out. No, oh, it was nothing. No, really. I can't think of anybody else in the world who would do that for me. You must really like me. Well, I gotta admit, you're starting to grow on me. And besides, what are we gonna do in the lunch rush without a dishwasher? Don't worry, dog boy. You're on my list. Hey, big boy. Get in. And now, as Rondi and Dog Boy peel out and drive off into the sunset in a cloud of exhaust, it looks like the end is finally here. But is it really the end? No, not as long as Dog Boy has a wild, animalistic dog heart beating in his chest. It's never the end, because he's Dog Boy.
First, Mr. Leatherfreak hires me to find his long-lost bimbo girlfriend. Then I barely managed to keep her from torching herself. Uh, these biker types are all too passionate, if you ask me. Bunch of unhealthy codependents. Hey, wake up. I'm gonna take you to your boyfriend. Get your hands off me. Can the tough act, sister. You're about as stable as our economy. There you are. I just received a phone call from your client, Mr. Dickerson. This is the woman he's looking for. Well, then he's made a terrible mistake. He just canceled our services. He told me he found her, uh, remains. He sounded very upset. Cross. I hope he isn't doing something stupid. Don't do it. Get a hold of Highway Patrol and the hospital. Is it always this hard to keep bikers alive? Come on, Crow. Get it together and be with me again. Is she, uh, coming out of it? I think so, but I don't think we should tell her about Mr. Dickerson yet. The strain might be too... What aren't you telling me about the crow? Miss, you better lie down again. I have to see the crow. Do you have any idea how long it's been? Look here, girly. Just cool your chats. Crow's having heavy-duty surgery. I have no idea if he's going to come out of it, let alone what he's going to look like or remember. Let me go. Doctor, are you just going to let her go like that? You said she needed treatment for exposure and malnutrition. Well, she doesn't have any insurance. I can't do it no more. I can't even get up the energy to kill myself again. I think I'll just sit here till my body gets oxidized. I know you. You're Crow's Crow. That must be the room where they're keeping his remains or whatever. I'm going back in. I had no idea she was wanted in connection with a credit card scam. Uh, she left earlier today. Uh, I haven't seen her since. But I'll be here until I wrap up this uh, business with my um, unfortunate client. I have to know whether Crow is dead or alive. They know how to do it. They wouldn't take me right by that evil desk. Look at all the wealth and luxury. Bastards wouldn't know true love if it smacked them in the head like a fat fish. Violation. You are too well, close. Please since we all know an anchor the is a symbol Violation. of chararity, I don't are mind helping close. myself. Step away from the Shut vehicle. the hell Violation. up. You, you are, are too, too loud. Close. Step away from the vehicle. I only got one good chance. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm too weak. I... Come on, girl. Get up the damn rope. Don't you want to see Crow again? Even if it's just his poor dead body? Get down from there, Winter Steel. You are under arrest for credit card fraud. You have the right to remain yeah, quiet. You have the right to Anything lick my pointy boots, you freaking Nazi! <sighs> I know that noise. It means Crow is alive. Crow! It's me, baby. This winter, I finally made it. Crow, I don't care what you look like when you get out of here. If you're some kind of bionic vegetable or whatever medical science turns you into, I love you, Crow, and I can feel you loving me back, no matter what kind of mess you are under there. You belong to me, you sorry son of a bitch. Nothing in the world's gonna change that. 
All right, Miss Dear, let's go. You've got some time to serve. Now we'll know where each other are. For a while, at least. It's a boy, a car, and a dream. Speed Racer is coming up next with another adventure to make the kids of today feel like pathetic underachievers. Stick around. Oh, no. 